Shalom Aleichem and welcome to Torah Talks. Tonight we have with us a very, very special dear friend of ours, Rabbi Newman. Welcome, Shalom Aleichem. How are you doing? Hashem. The energy of Rabbi Newman is amazing. Hashem. He really taught me a very big lesson once, which is we have to always produce, which I really take to heart. We're always trying to produce over here at Chazak, and Rabbi's always producing with chickens for Shabbos and many other great causes that he's involved with. Uh, tonight's topic, we're going to be talking about how do we better our fortune, our mazal. But before we delve into tonight's exciting topic, Rabbi, can you please give our listeners a little bit of background about yourself and chickens for Shabbos as well? I live here in Kigar Hez Baruch Hashem, and what a community. But the truth is that what a community of the Klal Yisrael, the Shem Yisrael, the Klal Yisrael, the Klal Yisrael. And the Klal Yisrael, the Masha Beprat. So, Baruch Hashem, we're here. And the truth is, it's true that we have a Tzedukah, Chikot Shabbos, that specializes in Agunas, Gushas, Malamdim. But let's see what we could do to try to, to better the Mazel of all of us. <coughs> of all of us. And the Klal and the Prat. <clears throat> it's interesting, Rabbi Arush, he shabbat a few shalima. He left over. He left. He left over, and when he was not well, he asked everybody in the world. He asked everybody in the world. Let's see it inside, and we want to quote it verbatim. Let's quote it verbatim. What he asked for, while he was very very sick. Tell him what does he say here? <laughs> Want to translate? And, no, and more. And below, Medavim. Lit Chazek Bishmirat al Ashon, Shalori Diber Ashum Yudira, Velagdi Zodir Forat Arab Shlita, Tiskul Mitzvot Vinifeser Besortavot. Let's translate it in English. Translate it in English. Okay, so it says the, what will be good is that if everybody could help out and strengthen in prayer on Abbas Yisrael, which is love for a fellow Jew. Jews. To strengthen on watching our lashon, our, 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 our mouths. Not to speak against any Jew. Not to speak against anyone. But for us to mount the rabbi, and we should uh, be tisk the mitzvahs, and we should hear only good news. That's fascinating. Normally, normally, when a person's sick, they make a kindness. Everybody has to Again. come. 100, 200 people, they come. Let's say Tillin. Let's give a lot of money for tzedukah. Nothing. He didn't ask for any money. He did not. He didn't ask for one capital to him. Only that you should. One should not speak against another Jew. Why? 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 Isn't that interesting? It's fascinating. In my whole life, I never saw this request for a person who was sick. Did you? Never. Always. King is, let's get together, we get to Bismed, in a Bismedish, 100 people come, 200 people come, a friend of mine, a friend of mine was sick by Rabbi Oba Bismedish, King is about to Shabbos, tell him. The word Mazal in Hebrew is made up of three, three letters Mem, Zion, Lamed. The Mem represents the word Mokoim. The place that you are, that you are right now, that is your fortune. Who put you there? Hashem. Hashem. The name also is Hashem's name. Baruch Hamok and Baruch Hu. The Hashem who made this world and made you, you're in that spot because it was meant to be. The Zion represents Zman. At least in this time, we got together in this office, the three of us, you in that spot, at this in this time, also from, from the men. And their Bosh and put us together. But what is the key to the Mazal? Is the Lamed. The Lamed represents Lashon. Isn't it fascinating that it only says the words, Tzadik Goyzer Bakosh Bocha Mekayim. A Tzadik decrees and Hashem will listen and activate on that decree. Why doesn't it say that by a regular person? Because it's axiomatic that there's no way the man could be a Tzadik if he sullies his power of speech. This power of speech is the nucleus to the neshuma of a yid. You know, we suffered, we suffered in Mitzrayim hundreds of years. Moshe Rabbeinu could not understand what sin did we, what did we, were we involved in that we have to suffer like this. 
that they took children and they and they buried them and they died and Eden died and they worked us they worked us like slave labor until he heard that Dawson Barabiro, brother Jews, went to school on Moshe Rabbeini that Koyach, because of Moshe Rabbeini, that Mitzri passed on. Says the Pusik, Orchi no Orchi no Dover. Then Moshe Rabbeini said, Now I understand why we are in this terrible business. Now, what is this power of speech? What is this power of speech? So you have to know. You have to know the Gemara says in Nidah. 16b, that before any of us were born in this world, a Malach came to Hashem. Write it down and check it out. You must check it out. You must see it inside. Nidah 16b, a Malach God came to Hashem with, and asked this person, what about him? How is, what's going to be the end of this person? Rich, poor, good looking, not so good looking, everything about you. So I was gonna now ask we him. have, now we have another gemuda. What is it, that dependent? That mazal that was destined for all of us, there was a predestined package. Now comes another gemuda in Ksubis. The gemuda says, call him a novelist, people, somebody who's not careful, and he sullies the koyach of his mazal. He sullies his speech. Even if it was destined, in that gift, that Gemara needed, 70 great years, the person can reverse it. Who reversed it? Did Hashem reverse it? Or the person reversed it? The person reversed it. The person reversed it. The same way you could reverse it, you could reverse it for the betterment. That is the key. That is Mamish the key. That is the key to the yid. It's fascinating. There's a post in Mishle. The post says, Hachayim v'hamoves v'yad oloshan. Life and, and reverse is in the hand v'yad haloshan in speech. Why does it say v'yad? It should have just said, Hachayim v'hamoves v'loshan. Now who's the author of this statement? Ishlaim HaMalach. It's a post in Mishle. Shlomo Melech was that tzaddik in the novel, and he saw this time today that a person will have the ability to speak by typing, sending an email, sending a fax, everything with his hand. Says the Pusik. Hachayim v'hamuvis biyad! Biyad. Biyad. Powerful. Rabbi, it's my first time interviewing someone without asking the question. Please. <laughs> no, it's Gavaldic. I just have to learn about yourself. We jump straight and so, into the topic of how do we better our fortune, and, and it's so powerful. Mazal, makon, zman, lashon. Very, very nice, beautiful chiddush, insight, and gem. Uh, so, so we're all looking to improve the quality of our lives, so how can we better our mazal, our good fortune? You're saying by never speaking against them. Now, that you think, now that's a little tricky, because, because a person could be habituated for a long, long time. you got to take it easy. First of all, you have to know, you have to know, you have to invest in the research of this topic. You have to look in the Chayvah Savovas. You know, the Chayvah Savovas found, found out that a man once spoke against him, and he sent him, he sent him a gift. The Chayvah Savovas sent this man who spoke Lashon against the Chayvah Savovas, and the Chayvah Savovas in return sent him a gift with a note, that the favor that you did for me way out, way outweighs what you have done, what, what I have done for you. I cannot begin to tell you, and maybe not, this is not the time, but you must research the end, the end of the power of speech. You have to research what happens to your mitzvahs. What happens, what happens, what happens, to this, to this, to these words. And so, that's, all, that's what I'm asking you. I'm always asking you on behalf of all of us. On behalf of all of us. What is it to say? to be careful not to speak in shul. You know what happens, the Zoya says, if one speaks in shul, the shechina leaves. If the shechina leaves, then it's all over. Then who, who are we praying to? It used to bother me, that it, it used to bother me, why does the shechina leave for all of us? Let it leave for the person who's speaking. But you know what happened by the Chet Regal, 
and they were like tubing engines there. And how many, how many, how many, how many, how many did I sin? Very, very few. So why do we all have to suffer? Because we didn't protest. We have an opportunity to, to manage to build, to build a world with a Kedusha Zapeh. Mamish, you should know that every word is counted. Before a person came out of the world, they gave him X amount of words. X amount of words. So I beg you, I beg you on behalf of all of us, over the Agunas and the Gushas, and the, the Jews that are suffering in France, in Montreal, in Toronto, many here not afraid to go out today. What could we give them? That's what we can give them. We can give them that we'll say to them, I will be super, super, super careful. That's, that's probably the greatest gift that a Yid could give to the Rebbein Shem. That he could give him his Kedishas Apeh. And in return, Hashem says, I'll, give you, I'll return the gift to you. Harchev Pichav Amalayu. When you call out to me, I'll respond to you. I was going to ask you in which way can we better the mazal, the, the, the good fortune of, of Klaus, of the Jewish people? Is the answer by not speaking in shul? Is that what you're... You have to be very careful. You have to invest. Now, just tell you, don't take my word for it. You've got to invest in the sum of the Chavetz Chaim, who was a genius in this. And he brought this mitzvah to light. He brought this mitzvah to light, and it's worth it to invest, to understand the end product of speech. You must invest in this mitzvah to understand the mechanics of what's at risk. That's not, that's not my goal today. But only to beg you, men and women, a woman goes to Shul on Shabbos, don't talk to anybody. Just ask Hashem for the Peshitichim, that your husband should be well, and your children should be matzliach, and your children should be tzaddikim. And if your friend comes to you and says, and begins to speak to you, he says, honey, I can't talk to you today. I can't talk to you right now. Because I'm in the middle of speaking to Hashem, and I'm thanking Him that I have a friend like you, but I can't talk to anybody now. I got to. You have an opportunity with the Melech, Malachai, Hamluchim, Hakudish Borchi, who made this world from nothing. Mamish from nothing. We say in Rashir al Malish, Shir al Malish, Esra Enai, Elahor, Mania, Vizri. Who's going to help me? So I heard once Rabbi Oban said a brilliant thought. He said it on for the Psalm Swayfer. So the Pasik says, Ezri, Meshem, Meim Hashem. Who's going to help me? As he will come from Hashem. Why do we need the words, O say Shemayim words? It's superfluous. It's just, the, the statement could have just ended, as we met me in Hashem. So Rabbi Oman said, you know what Hashem is telling a person? Before there was Shemayim, there was nothing in this world. God made Shemayim, yes, Shemayim. He made it from ex, ex nihilo, from nothing. There was nothing. And the God who's here now, who made the same God who made this world, he's saying to you, that just like in Shemaim, there was nothing before I said, I made a miracle and I made Shemaim. And Uritz, there was nothing, there was no Uritz. I created a Uritz. I created this earth. But prior to that, there was nothing. If I have to make a miracle for you, the same way I made heaven and earth, that's what I'll do for you. That's what I'll do for you. That's the bottom one, so I really, really beg you, number one. Number two is, many of the listeners here, you know, we, we all give, many must give a, many, many, many use. The vast majority give a lot, a lot of charity. What do we need? What do we need in this, in this college? So, you know what we need? We need homework centers. Many, many parents haven't learned the Gemudas that their children are learning in Yeshivas, Yishim, and Medaz, Bubakama. Those are complex Gemudas. We need to produce. We need to produce for Hashem and Shem. We love you, and you gave us financial success. We want to return it to you, and and I'll do this. I want to do this for all your children. All your children has been We must have homework centers for boys and girls that they should have an avenue that if they have difficulty with their studies, that we should ameliorate ameliorate any of the stress. That would be probably of the greatest mitzvahs in tzedakah that I know. Because the day will come, they're going to show you, these children will come. There is a fascinating Yishami, and we'll end with this. 
It says pre tzaddik, it's chayav lekeich neshamos. He's a he's a chuchem. In this food, you can buy a lot, a lot of things. You can buy a, a, a home in the country in Florida and it is ruled. You can buy cars, jewelry, watches, diamonds. A great time. Buy a neshuma. Lekeich neshamos. He's a chuchem. Mm. Now, when they bury a person, not all the, not all person gets buried. Only the goof, but, but not the neshuma. The neshuma remains. If we'll help all these children and give them homework centers for boys and girls, and you'll be careful how you speak, you'll be able to. You know what happens if you're careful how you speak? You'll be able to pray for a Jew and it's going to come off. You'll be able to pray for a woman who has cancer and the cancer will disappear. It'll go away. Because when you do that, that's why Shem consider, considers that tzaddik, one who does not sully, sully their lips. You'll produce, you'll produce bikushim, and it's going to come off. And you'll be joined, you'll join the cloudy soul of tzaddikim, of tzaddik goizer, v'akosh borcha mekayim, brucha v'atzlucha, shimin ma'ad yisa, rabbi should give us that brucha, guide us, and guard us, so we could be zoiched that you should see on us and our families. Yismach Hashem b'ma'asav al-wa'adu l'neitzach l'sochem. Amen. Amen, amen. Brought to you by chickensforshabbos.com and Chazak. <laughs> My partner Chazak. Baruch Hashem, I want to add a few quick things with your permission, Robbie. Of course. Number one is I saw a beautiful sign once in a shul. I've seen it quite a few times. Talk as much as you want. Talk, talk and show as much as you want, but only to Hashem, to only to God. Yeah. <laughs> the positive twist to that. And number two is, as I mentioned in the beginning, Ravi always has to produce. And I love the idea of the homework center, something that we definitely need. Chazak always gets requests that, you know, you do so much programming for kids in public schools, after school programs, Sunday school programs, teens even programs. You take them on trips, they have incentive, they have Shabbatons, half of the boys in yeshiva. Let's do something about that as well. We always get the request. The thing is, Baruch Hashem, thank God. We have so much responsibility that of, of the public school programming that we have that uh, we never were able to take this upon ourselves because we're overworked, we're overwhelmed, and we're definitely understaffed. As large as our staff is, Baruch Hashem, Help it's definitely, definitely not large enough. But if we could, Amit Hashem, have someone that heard this message from our dear friend that, uh, that will take this upon himself, you know, in, uh, in Vienna, there was a uh, Rav, he spoke on, on, on Shabbos and Yeshua and Shabbat. And he spoke that there was a need for girls' Jewish day schools. There was boys. But there wasn't anything for the girls. He said, please, everyone get involved, do something. All the men sitting in the crowd, and one in one ear, and not the other ear. But there was a lady sitting in the woman's section, modestly sitting over there. Her name was Sarah Schneer. Ah. She heard the message. And she didn't just hear it, but she did something. Same thing with Yisrael. Yitro. We just had uh, uh, a few weeks ago. He heard everything that, that God did to the Jewish people, but he didn't just hear in one ear, in one ear and out the other ear. Everybody heard about all the miracles and all the great things God did to us in Egypt. But he actually did something and he converted to Judaism. Same thing over here. People heard the message. There's a huge need for this. I'm telling you out of experience, I see it all the time. Parents are begging that we get involved. We can't do this ourselves. We're not a one-man show. You know, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not a one-man band. We have to build an army of people to get involved. You know who's begging? The children are begging. The children are begging, they're unhappy. They don't want to be in a class of 25, 30 kids and they don't know the Chumash or the Mishnahis or the Novi. They want to be successful, they want to participate. That's the way there is such a high risk for children because they were not Matzlich and Yeshiva. Because they didn't have them. And we're not faulting any parent, Chaz Vishulim, Cholil Vichas. But we owe it to these children. We owe it to Hashem's children. They can ask everybody. Everybody they can ask. You know, the Gwen says, when a person passes on, the first thing they show him is what he could have produced. What he could have produced. These are Hashem's children. And there's Hashem in all of us. And when a Jew has pain, Hashem has pain. So the Gwen said, Kalani Midroish, Kalani Mizroya. And the Posik says, and she God never forgets. No, what is it that God doesn't forget? He'll never forget the Jew who took that Jew who had pain that God was in. When you take the pain out, take away, you take away the pain of a Jew, at the same time, you're taking away the pain of Hashem. 
says the Pusik, I'll never forget that you took away my pain. The whole world stands on the help of the Nagashib Zdavim, on these children. Because they're the present, and they're the future, and they can correct a person's past. I beg you, wherever you live, make a homework center. Have the best teachers, the best teachers. Whatever, it's worth it to invest in Hashem's children. Hashem Himself invested in these children. He put them in this world. The Bosha give us this Bucha that we should be Zoicha to produce for you a Kedisha Zepeh, that we could be Zoicha to make for you homework centers for these children who will say for you, is God of His God, Hashemi Rabbi, Amen. Amen, Amen. Okay, wow, so inspiring. Thank you very, very much. Uh, want to remind everyone if they anyone call wants, here, yes, to the Nathan Homework the, the, Centers. The, the, the phone number for Chazak is 718 285 9132. 718 285 9132. Uh, you can email us at info at chazak, chazak org. That's info at chazak.org. I want to give a shout out to chickensforshabbos.com. Anyone that wants to contribute to the holy work that they're involved with, Agunis. Crucius Malamdin. Yes, not just in Eretz Yisrael, they also started a division over here in America, Baruch Hashem. Yeah, and, yeah uh, they can love them here. Yes, they do. They're doing an amazing job. We love Malamdin. I, I love Malamdin. I know on a first hand basis. I see it myself with the amount that they do. We have to help them to continue. We want to give a shout out to our friends at Torah anytime. Thank you very much for uh, hosting this along with all the other platforms that are out there and all the podcasts and all the different yeah, Zachins. Yeah, thank you. We want to give a big shout out to Nata Behar. For videography, and, and he's now doing editing as well. Amazing job. Uh, we want to give a shout out and a thank you to our friends at dailygiving.org. Everybody oh, should check that out. Dailygiving.org is at Sadik. He is at Sadik. <laughs> Rabbi Dr. Donut. Yes, amazing uh, work that they're doing. Uh, I believe. I say thank you also. 50, I believe, organizations. Uh, every single day you give a dollar a day, it really goes a very far away. And Chazaka really benefits, Chickens for Shabbos benefits, many organizations benefit. And the Rabbi Avoff, a very special thanks to Rabbi as well. We want to remind everyone every single Tuesday, Chazak Torah Talks. Amazing special guests like Rabbi Newman, doesn't let me call him, him Rabbi, Rabbi yeah. Newman. Rabbi. Rabbi, Rabbi. <laughs> but uh, uh, always a pleasure to have uh, special guests on. And we will visit Shem. See you next week. Thank you very much. And please share and for this amazing, inspiring video. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>